has a spider in between my window and my screen. I do. Please stay out there. Hello world and all who inhabit it. If you've ever been to Chicago, Illinois, or you've just been on the internet, chances are you've seen what locals and tourists alike call the Chicago bean. This beautiful large sculpture that looks like a silver coffee bean in the middle of the city. Here's myself and my friend Liz taking a photo of our reflections in it a couple of years ago. The sculpture's formal name is Cloudgate, and it was done by an artist named Anish Kapoor. Kapoor is an interesting figure in the art world because he's kind of a ridiculous person, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. But you never thought you'd get a contemporary cultural art history lesson, right? So Kapoor's work is, in my opinion, actually pretty good. The, there's the bean, for example. Let's just keep calling it the bean because let's be real. That's what it is. It's a giant bean. There's a whirlpool he installed in Brooklyn, New York to talk about negative space. There's sky mirror, which reflects like the bean. So I won't deny his work is actually pretty influential. Let's take a break from Kapoor for a moment, however, to talk about some researchers in Britain. In 2014, a group of researchers studying aerospace, optics, and engineering at Surrey Nanosystems created something called Vantablack. This is a synthetic substance that is so black it absorbs nearly 100% of the light, whereas most black surfaces have kind of a sheen or, you know, something like that. Like, even this, you can totally tell that there is still light reflecting off of it. Vantablack really doesn't. If you spray it on a surface, or in this case the original Vanta Black actually had to kind of be grown with microfibers, it literally looks like you've laid an acme hole in the middle of the floor. Surrey Nanosystems created this material so that it could be used in aerospace and in specialty products. This is actually not the first synthetic material to be considered a super black, but, but Vanta Black could be produced at much lower temperatures, and therefore this made it a lot less expensive to produce and more cost effective for scientists who were looking to use it. It was first displayed at the Fernborg Air Show in 2014, where everyone suddenly knew about this insanely dark substance. Now, Surrey Nanosystems was getting calls from everyone and their brother asking about the material and how they could get some. When the scientists at Surrey Nanosystems realized just how many people wanted to use Vanta Black, they realized that they needed an easier way for people to use it because at the fair itself, it's kind of something that you had to grow in these nanotubes and things like that. So they went back to the lab and they designed it as a paint. This could be sprayed rather than grown like the original and basically used on anything you could think of. It was a really big deal because this meant it could be commercially produced, whereas no other material like this had been able to be commercially produced before. Now enter back in Anish Kapoor. Told you you'd come back, right? I wish you wouldn't. Kapoor had actually been asking about Vanta Black since the Farnborough Air Show where it was originally displayed, and after it created the second edition of the material in such a way that it could be commercially produced, Surrey realized that they needed basically a way to get the word out to more people. Kapoor's work focuses largely on creative voids and negative space, and so it seemed like a good idea when he asked for the rights to it. So a contract was signed which gave Kapoor exclusive rights to use Vanta Black in art, and it wasn't as good an idea as it originally seemed. Other artists were really unhappy about this. They complained in droves. Somehow the idea morphed online not just that Kapoor could use Vanta Black in his work, but that no one else could use any other black ever. And it's not very typical to own a color like that. The color itself isn't licensed, it's the synthetic material that this ultra black comes from. Still, people were pretty mad. One artist who got mad about it was Stuart Simple. Simple is a painter from England who was understandably upset about the idea of not being able to use the blackest, darkest synthetic material on Earth. So, in the ultimate F.U. move that an artist can make against Kapoor, Simple released his own patent and color for use for everyone except Anish Kapoor. It's a very bright powdered pink and basically all you have to do to buy it is prove that you're not Kapoor and tell them that you will not sell it to him or give it to him. And the funny thing is, Semple didn't actually think anyone would be interested, but it blew up. And again, anyone can buy it except Anish Kapoor. It's not like Kapoor can't use a different pink or a different material that creates this color of pink, but 
because he's a big whiny man baby, he was mad that he couldn't use Simple's paint. So he got one of his London associates to buy it for him and flipped Simple off on Instagram with a caption reading, up yours, hashtag paint. Simple is actually a pretty cool guy when it comes to fighting classy. So he released something called Diamond Dust, the glitter that is incredibly bright and that you can use under a layer of paint but it's made of glass. So it's kind of a challenge to Kapoor to dip his middle finger in it. He also created with a team of artists, Black 2.0, basically Vanta Black, but now it's Vanta Black everyone can use except, you guessed it, Anish Kapoor. The story actually doesn't end there. In fact, it recently got an update. There is now a Black 3.0 designed by Simple and a team for use by everyone except, you guessed it, Anish Kapoor. The project was funded with a Kickstarter which reached its goal in the first 38 hours. And as far as Anish Kapoor not being allowed to use it, it honestly makes sense to me and I'm about to tell you why. Remember how I said it was kind of like a Looney Tunes like hole had been laid in the floor? Well, in 2018, Kapoor used Vanta Black on a pit that had been created in the floor of an art gallery and you cannot tell that any lights reflecting into the pit and there were no signs around it to tell you that it was actually a hole in the ground. This is in this museum in Portugal. This guy's walking around minding his own business and he fell in because he thought it was just a painted hole in the floor. He had to go to the hospital and he's okay, but Kapoor, dude, can you imagine you're just walking along and gosh, this art gallery sure is nice. Ah! Imagine walking through an art gallery and you're just wily coyote straight into the ninth circle of hell. <laughs> That's kind of intense, right? Are there any other crazy weird art stories you want me to cover? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit subscribe. If you want to help me make more videos like this or just help me make art or help me live, links to my Patreon will be in the description as well. And from there, you can help me create full time. Links to just a bunch of other important stuff will be in the description. And if you have any other crazy weird art stories, either in art history or contemporary that you want to tell me about or you want me to cover, please let me know. This stuff is hilarious. And thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.